I want to share with you this little trick I learned that makes calculating the payback period and the discounted payback period really easy to do in Excel. So the payback period is how long does it take to recoup your money? So in this example here, the project cost $125,000. How many years before we get back $125,000? Now, normally we just put some formulas in, and, and, and it's not particularly hard to do, but this is easier. And we would put in the minus 125 here, and then we would say, you know, take what's in cell D9 and add what's in cell D10, uh, C10, and then copy it down. But there's even a little easier trick here. We can use the sum function. So we can sum from here to here, or from here to here and here, etc. So the sum function makes it even easier. So we're going to sum from C9, and I'm going to hit the F4 key because I want to lock that first cell. I want it to stay here. But as we move through time, I want it to sum uh, right here, this and this. And then when we get to year two, I want it to sum this and this. So I'm going to say 2C9. And we get minus 125,000. So if I copy it down one cell, you'll see that what's true. This is, you know, minus 125,000 plus 25,000 equals minus 100,000. I can copy it down one more time. And you know, minus 100,000 plus 35,000 is minus 65,000. So let's just copy it all the way down. We'll see what we have here. And we can see that between year three and year four, the remainder goes from being negative to being positive. So we know that it's three years for the payback, but some fraction of year four. It's not going to take all of year four, because we assume that this 55,000 is continuous throughout the year. So we're just looking at the fraction of a year it takes to recoup another $20,000. If this happened to be $27,500, which is half of this, then it would be easy to look at and say it's three and a half years. Here it's going to be a little less than three and a half years. So now the formula here is going to be 3 plus, and we're going to take the negative of this amount that we have to cover. I want it to be a positive number divided by this value here, 55,000. And we get 3.36. So it takes, you know, um, a little more than a third of a year, a little more than four months to cover that remaining $20,000 in year four. So the payback is 3.36 years. Okay, So that's how long to get your money back. Over here, we can do the discounted payback period. So one of the criticisms of the payback period is that it does not account for the time value of money. Well, we can account for that by taking the present value of all the cash flows and then doing exactly what we did here. So let's give that a go. All right, so I'm going to find the present value, PV. And the first thing we want to put in is the rate. And I'm, again, I'm going to lock that cell. And then the payment is next. And then it wants the future value. Wait a minute. The second argument, I'm sorry, is the period, which is F9, okay? Then the next argument is PMT, the annuity. We don't have one, so we'll put a zero in. And I'm going to put a negative value in front of uh, the future value because I want it to be the same sign as it was before. Those of you who've used the PV function know that when you calculate it, if you put in a positive FV, you get a negative PV. I want it to stay the same. So let's see what we have here. So we get minus 125. And if we copy this down, we should get the present value of all of these cash flows. So this is the present value of 25,000 uh, one year from now. This is the present value of 35,000 two years from now, etc. And then let's use the same formula we used before, equals sum. And we're going to sum this. And I'm going to hit that 
F4 key to H9. Didn't, didn't seem to work, so I'm going to put in. I'll put in my own dollar sign. H9 to H9, and I'm just going to copy this down here, all the way down. And again, it goes from being negative to being positive in year four. And it makes sense if you're taking the present value of the cash flows. The cash flows are smaller. It's going to take a little longer to find the um, or to pay back the project. So here it's going to be 4 plus, and again, the same thing we had before, the negative of this value. We have to put the equal sign in so it didn't realize I wanted to put a formula in. 4 plus the negative of this divided by this. And let's close up the parentheses, and we get 4.05 years. And you can see this is a very small amount of money, so it's not going to take much of year five to cover um, this less than $2,000. So 4.05 years is the payback period, so or discounted payback period. So this is a, a little easy trick for doing the computation, and um, I've discussed it in other videos but you know the point of the payback period is it has flaws but it's also very easy to understand and that can be a valuable second capital budgeting method or third capital budgeting method because you have to keep in mind that everybody who you're pitching the project to everybody in you know on a on the board of directors of a corporation is not an expert in finance so sometimes being able to explain things in a simple way helps so this is a little bit easier way to do that calculation and i hope you find it useful